Welcome back everyone, Tina here and in this video today I'm going to walk you through how you can set up voice AI inside the AI employee. The voice AI agent is a powerful tool that currently handles inbound calls only, but soon to come the outbound calls as well. It interacts with customers naturally and performs actions based on predefined goals. So you can set up your AI voice agent and you can even choose between male and female and also between different accents. So let's say your company is based in the UK, you can select a UK voice. If your company is based in the US, you could select a US voice. So the tool is really built to handle natural conversations. It handles natural speed and understands context. It does integrate with your CRM as well as other business tools. You can customize your responses via a prompt if you want to personalize it further. There are automated tasks that you can predefine like scheduling meetings, collecting data such as name, phone number, email address, or even address. And of course, an AI agent is available 24 seven without any downtime. Please note anyone who purchases numbers in the LC phone center, in our LC phone center, you can leverage this feature. But if your number is directly with Trulio, you cannot use this feature. Now let's set up this AI voice agent and let's make a test call as well to show you how it looks like. Okie dokes. So click on settings, bottom left, and then select AI agents on the left. Here you can see all the existing AI agents and you want to click on create agent. Right at the top, you'll have to fill out three things, agent details, agent goals, and the phone and availability. So let's start with agent details. You can give your agent a name. Let's call it Tina AI in this case. You can add your agency name or your business name. In this case, let's just pretend we are a real estate agency. And here under voice, you can select your voices. So let's select Alice. She is calm and composed. We seek to discover the best in others. We somehow bring out the best in ourselves. Let's select Brian. Thing always happens that you really believe in, and the belief in a thing makes it happen. Nice. I've never heard a voice like that in a autoresponder or something like that. So maybe choose that to stand out if you like Brian. <laughs> Chris UK. Love doesn't make the world go round. Love is what makes the ride worthwhile. Actually, UK English is the best. Just being biased a little bit because it's actually very clear. <laughs> uh, what else? Tony. Life is what happens while you are making other plans. So cheesy, hey? <laughs> Samantha, teen and focused. Make absolutely sure there are no smiles available. So let's definitely stick with Chris in the UK, okay? So here you can see the direction is only inbound call for now, meaning the agent, the AI agent picks up the call when somebody calls your agency, or the phone number you've purchased under LC phone, and soon to come outbound calls, meaning the agent can make calls to the outside world. Um, it's not active yet, but it will come soon, okay? And then the agent's initial message is, you can modify that here, very basic, hey, you've reached Blue Lane Real Estate Agency, how can we help you, okay? Now, next up at the top, let's click on agent goals. Here under agent goals, you have two different modes. One is the advanced one and one is the basic one. This one right here is the basic one, which means it just collects the name, the email address, the address and the contacts issue, and then suggests, hey, we will call you back whenever we, you know, a human is back in the office, basically. You can check mark this, which means the workflow will be triggered when the call is completed. Then here you can select the workflow, depending on which one you've set up. Maybe you want to nurture your audience. Maybe you want to send some emails to increase the know, like, and trust factor, things like that. Okay. And here, if you want to receive email notifications post call completion, by default, email is sent to the sub account admins at the end of each call. Okay. So here you can decide, hey, do you want to send it to all users that are set up in your account? Do you want to send it to contacts assigned user? Do you want to send it to a specific user or to a custom email? Let's type in custom email for now. Hit next. Then under phone availability, you need to choose the phone number that you would like to attach to the AI agent. Remember, you can buy this under settings for numbers. That's the only way how this would work. And here you can choose the availability when the AI agent should be active. Why would you want to turn off an AI agent? You may ask, well, maybe you are at the office and you would like to actually speak to your people as a human from human to human. Then you can turn off the AI agent while you're working and then receive the phone numbers on your phone via the forwarding option. Now let's switch to agent goals at the top. So this was just the basic option to collect the basic contact details, right? But maybe you want to be a bit more sophisticated and, you know, give the AI agent an AI prompt. So just click on switch to advanced mode right here. And please note, once the agent is created here in the advanced node, it cannot be switched back to the basics. You would need to create a new AI agent from there. 
Okay, so here's a bit of background information. Hey, this is my name and I'm working for this particular agency. You set the goal, gather contact information and if applicable, use the appropriate tool when the caller's query matches the configured tool trigger. Instructions for handling caller's queries is quite interesting. So if the caller asks a question, check whether the question matches a tool's trigger condition. Okay, if the question matches a tool's trigger condition, definitely go ahead and use the tool immediately without gathering additional information. Or else, if if no tools are available or the question does not match a tool's trigger condition, politely inform the caller that a team member will reach out to them with an answer. Meaning, hey, we don't want this tool to go off and invent and go on a tangent and randomize and generalize information, right? Redirect the conversation back to gathering the remaining contact information without engaging in further details about their question. And basically, this here again says what I just said. Hey, try to not generalize, stick to the script, even if the caller asks you multiple times, yeah, but what if this or that, you know? You just keep training your body basically hey no matter what they say keep to your script okay then script instructions for inbound calls hey assure the caller of a prompt callback from your team highlighting our commitment to satisfaction and then the conclusion and the call once you've catered to the caller's queries and gathered the requested details by thanking them again for calling assuring them that their issues is being addressed with wishing them a pleasant day now you can customize this further and train your bot further if you wanted to. Now let's say, let's add some general information here. Let's say, hey, a bedroom flat in Business Bay costs roughly 2 million dirhams of plan. Or, you know, another question could be, why should someone invest in Business Bay in area? Um, and then, you know, the bot can read this URL and can give specific answers. So here you can then put your blog post or anything else you would like to train the bot with. So it really depends on you. The more accurate you can be, the more accurate your information you can provide, the better the agent will also be. Okay. Down here, you can set up your actions. For example, you can transfer the call if this is going nowhere or if they want to speak to a human. You can trigger a workflow. You can update a contact field or you can send an SMS. If you would transfer the call, for example, you would give it an action name. You would put the phone number where you would like to transfer the call to. Then give it a prompt when would you like the transfer to take place for example as soon as somebody says hey i would like to speak to the business owner or to a human something like that and then here is just a little confirmation hey what is the bot going to say while we're transferring the customer to a human and this could be for example please wait while we transfer the call to a manager okay then trigger a workflow could be another action you give the action a name again you would select the workflow you would like to trigger when to trigger the workflow for example the user agrees to pay for a subscription. Here you can set up payment links directly um, to send them and say, as the bot, you can say, all right, we are going to send you the payment link over SMS or over email or over WhatsApp even, right? So they don't just click the payment link and then they can pay their bill basically. Next up, you can also update contact field, select which contact field will be updated. How did you find us? That would be always a very great marketing research question. What's their business name? Maybe they changed their city. Maybe they want to update their email address, their age or whatever. And then what to update in the selected field, for example, name of the caller, right? So basically you're providing the data the AI agent should find in the system and then go and update that particular field. And then last but not least, you can also send an SMS. Again, give it an action name, put the message input. When do you want to send that SMS? For example, the customer asks for an invoice. Then again, please wait while we send you an SMS would then be a suggestive phrase you could say before sending the SMS. If you don't like any of that, you can also hit delete. That's it. Down here, if you want to have a little bit more help, you can choose the SMS template. You can select from, for example, a Zoom link, a calendar page, if they want to book in an appointment, then you can send them the calendar page directly um, via SMS, for example, right? And similar down here, again, you check mark this. If you want to trigger a specific workflow, then the workflow selection dropdown pops up. You will just select any workflow here. And then again, you would set um, who will receive an email notification post call completion. Here we set up a custom email. Then let's hit save. Okay, great. Everything's updated. Now, the exciting part, let's call ourselves. Here you can see six minutes and eight seconds are left today because I already made some calls to my AI agent before recording this video to make sure everything works the way I wanted it. So um, you will have 10 minutes every single day, okay, per agent. But again, if you wanted to have uh, more minutes, then you would need to purchase the AI employee anyway. Okay, let's hit call me. Hello. And you have reached Blue Lane Real Estate Agency. 
How can I help you today? Oh, hi there. I would be very interested in learning about why should I in, uh, invest into Business Bay? Great question. Investing in Business Bay can be a smart move due to its prime location, modern infrastructure, and potential for high returns. It's a bustling business hub with plenty of amenities and attractions. If you want more detailed insights, I can have one of our team members reach out to you with all the information. Would that work for you? Yeah, sure. But before you take my details, can you please tell me a rough estimate how much that would cost roughly? A two-bedroom flat in Business sure. Bay? A two-bedroom flat in Business Bay off plan would cost around two million dirhams. If you're interested, I can have someone from our team provide more details. Can I get your contact information to arrange that? Oh, sure. Yes, you can. Awesome. Could you please share your name and the best phone number or email to reach you? Absolutely. My name is Tina Damen. Thanks, Tina. And what's the best phone number or email to reach you at? Hello at tinadamen.com. Got it, Tina. Just to confirm, your email is tina at diamond.com. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. Perfect. Thanks, Tina. Our team will reach out to you soon with more information about investing in Business Bay. Have a great day. Oh, actually, hang on a minute. Are you there? I'm here. What else can I help you with? I think it's better if you take my phone number because I don't actually read my emails. No problem at all. Could you please share your phone number with me? Sure. 111-111-111. Thanks for that. So your phone number is 111-111-111. Got it. Our team will give you a call soon. Have a fantastic day. Oh, you have a fantastic day too. Okay, she didn't get say goodbye. Excuse me. Well, anyway... How cool is that? Um, here we go. So she answered my questions about the estimate and she told me why should I invest in that particular area because I prompted, I inserted that information into the prompt, yeah? So if you want to be that specific, you have to train your little bot like that. Um, so now here on the right, you can see the call history. You can see that was two minutes and 16 seconds and the status is marked as complete. The transcript, you can read it in a chat format right here, which is pretty cool. Currently, there is no recording available. And down at the summary, it will just give you a short explanation what the call was about. And that's pretty cool. Here, the user preferred to be contacted by phone rather than email. Just shows you that it's smart enough to understand uh, that basic conversation, right? Oh, cool. And, and here how the call ended on a positive note with both parties exchanging pleasantries. Okay. After the call has concluded, you will also receive an email. In this email, you will get details like the caller's ID, the called number, the name of the agent, the AI agent, a transcript of what has been said, and the actions taken after that. In case you have already LC phone set up, you can absolutely use an existing phone number to use this particular feature, provided it's not being used in the IVR feature in workflows. So this was the bit more advanced version, right? Like remember, there's also the basic version where the AI agent can collect all the data from the prospect and then can create a new contact in the CRM. And also you can have different AI agents that are attached to different phone numbers. For example, if you're handling different departments. If you have a general number or if some caller lands in a different department, in the wrong department, so to speak, then you can also set the forward number to, hey, you've reached the sales department, but you have a question, you know, regarding your active subscription. Therefore, I'm going to forward this call to the customer service center or something like that. It's all possible. Yeah, and that's it already. I hope you like this new voice AI feature. Let me know what you think in the comments below and I will see you in the next video.